so now in this video we will create a model because we are done with the model working so first now let's create a model for it right down in here after this function okay let's call it down and we will name this as a load data model okay and let's also write file there we go and this will be a sync okay and now write in here string type okay output we will equal that to first write evet in here there we go now in here write tf light okay there we go dot we will go with the load model there we go as you guys can see now we will take this down and write in the model we will set the path for it okay so in here we will write assets then slash then model okay and then after the name of a model as you guys can see in here in the asset and right in here there's the model name now we will write this right in here okay so write it and make sure the name will be similar or otherwise it will not work so now right after this model we will have a label for it okay labels and right in the labels we will set the path for the labels okay so right in here assets and then slash sign and then as you guys can see in here that labels dot txt we will write in in here okay so write labels dot txt there we go put a comma now right after there will be a num threads there we go and we will set this to one put a comma and right after in here we will set this is acid to true okay there we go put a comma and right after we will have a use GPU delegate so right in here use there we go and we will set this to false okay there we go put a comma take this down all good in here okay now we will simply print it the output in here output there we go put a semicolon at the end so it's fine in here now we will create a init state right down in here okay init state and right in here after this let's scroll it down first add in here now we will equal the image picker to the image picker okay right in here there we go semicolon at the end now in here we will call upon that model that we created that one just simply copy it from here and paste it right in here okay semicolon at the end there we go so basically that's it for this video and right in the next video we will do further work okay